Hey, this is Matt Blackburn and you're watching Divine Superconductor TV. Long overdue video on coffee. My routine has shifted over the year and I'm really glad to come to this recipe because it hinges on beliefs about sugar. And I did, you know, butter coffee, MCT oil for many years. And then when I took my sugar beliefs that it's evil to the extreme, I was doing black coffee during my ketogenic experiment. And that was disastrous for my health and contributed to destroying my thyroid gland and I'm sure many other tissues in my body. So I've come to understand that sugar and coffee and consuming coffee with breakfast is one of the most important points to know with coffee. People, Americans that wake up and chug a coffee or go to Starbucks, drink coffee right away, that's bad because you're supposed to blunt or suppress the cortisol response in the morning. When you drink coffee on an empty stomach, especially with no sugar in it, protein helps a little bit, but no sugar, usually no protein, that's really bad. That kickstarts a whole set of hormonal processes that destroys the thymus gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenals get thrashed, and it starts breaking down your fat and muscle tissue because that's what cortisol and adrenaline does. So it's really important to first thing, do some honey in the morning, take a shot of honey. I like the master amino pattern. A lot of what I'll talk about is on my website. And with coffee, it really comes down to quality. Some people say it doesn't matter. For me, never use ground coffee, ever, because it's always oxidized. You always want to grind it yourself. It doesn't take long, too. And try to stay away from the Keurig, like the K-cup machines, because generally those are full of mold, and there's a ton of plastic, and it's just not good. A lot of critters can grow in there. Local is best. When I can't get local coffee, I use purity coffee or when I'm on the road or whatever. And purity coffee is amazing because it's lab tested. So it's low in acrylamides, high in antioxidants, um, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are avoided because they roast to a specific point. And mycotoxins, pesticides, contaminants, these are real issues and I really like their price point and their quality. So the value of Purity Coffee is awesome. If you use the code BLACKBURN, you save 30%. It makes it super affordable. I'm in a monthly subscription for this stuff. I love it. That said, freshly roasted local coffee is always ideal, but always ideal isn't always practical. And that's a big part of the Divine Superconductor message and Matt Blackburn's message is be practical because if it's not, then you're not gonna stick with it. So I am going to add some coffee in here. So I use this machine from Cuisinart called Grind Central. I fill it up to about the 10 number. And that's, that's a little much for Someone solo probably don't need that much, but that's a good amount for two people. So let me grind this up real quick. That's it. Always smell it after. Mm, that's an important part of the process. Next, this is a big deal. All the other ones I have break. This one works. I can put the link below. This is the original French press. This one does not break is easy. Usually this part gets messed up and eventually, you know, over years, this will get worn out. But I really like this one because this twists on. And so it's really easy to clean. You just twist this piece off. It's three different pieces and you could wash it. So what I do is I have this and I'll just kind of tap it in, put the lid on and I set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes is the ideal time to steep. I used to do it for 10, sometimes even 15 minutes. That's way too long. 
five, six minutes max is what you're looking at. While that's steeping, I'll talk a little bit about coffee. Always consume it with food and ideally with carbohydrates and protein. And you can get crazy with breakfast and what to eat and it doesn't matter too much in the beginning. The important point to make is don't skip breakfast and drink coffee as your breakfast. Even if you have calories in it, even if you have collagen, butter, ghee, whatever you put in it, that's not food, that's still a drink. And you need calories, you need carbohydrates, you need sugar with it. So I have a little trick of adding maple syrup to it. That makes it delicious and less harsh on the system. So I have all the ingredients out, the coffee steeped, we're ready to rumble. What happens now is you just put this down and there's a little mesh kind of filter, metal filter that goes down in there. And you always wanna use metal when you can and not paper, because paper will absorb a lot of the beneficial components in the coffee, like the chlorogenic acid. So this blender is incredible. Always try to use glass. Don't use any of the cheap plastic ones. This is the Tribest, and this is called the Dyna Blend. So all I do is I just pour it straight into there. And now the main ingredients are shilajit, MCT oil, maple syrup, and ghee. Pretty much all you need. You can add some sea salt in there if you want. Sea salt in the morning is excellent. So shilajit's on my website. Um, the powder that I use, I just keep refilling the same jar. So I'll just sprinkle about a half teaspoon in there. Sometimes a whole teaspoon. So next, this is MCT oil. I'll put the link of the one that I use. This company also makes it in glass, which is ideal. So it's a lot more sustainable. We'll be moving to that soon. So I'll just pour that in, just about a tablespoon. And next, I add the ghee. And this stuff is incredible. This is gold nugget vanilla ghee. This is a game changer. You could also use full fat raw cream but when it feels like party time, I'll use this stuff. Oh, that's amazing. And I'll just put in a scoop, just about one spoonful. Next, I'll add the maple syrup. And I just keep refilling this mason jar that I keep in the fridge. And so I'll just pour that in. About that much. I don't know, maybe that was a quarter cup or something. And play with the ratios, play with the amounts. I'm just giving you the general gist of a really awesome coffee recipe. I forgot to add, this is on my website, Vital Sword. This is my friend's company, Tonic Treasures. This is a blend of certified organic reishi, chaga, cordyceps, mesima, turkey tail, lion's mane, astragalus, dendrobium, and licorice, 10 to one extracts, super powerful. You can also add mushroom extracts in there. Lion's mane is excellent. They have a pure lion's mane. I think I'm actually gonna do that one today, but they have different, different forms, lucidity, different little blends that I'll go into later, but this is the lion's mane. It's incredible. So I'll just add a little scoop like that. If all you add to your coffee is lion's mane, that's awesome and it actually really flows with the flavor so i'm going to blend this up right now ba -ba -boom. whoa porcelain try not to use a painted mug cheers mm. ah that's Delicious go because I'm about to get down with some pancakes and coffee. Always drink coffee with food. If that's all you get from this video, that's really critical because it's going to have a different effect on the thyroid gland when you consume it with food versus without. So drink your coffee with food.
Stay tuned for more. Check out my website. Links are below. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. I'm Matt Blackburn. Take care.